Desperately, helplessly, longingly I cried. Quietly, patiently, lovingly, God replied. I pled and I wept for a clue to my fate, and the master so gently said, wait. Child, you must wait. Wait? You say wait? My indignant reply. Lord, I need answers. I need to know why. Is your hand shortened, or have you not heard? By faith I have asked, and I'm claiming your word. My future and all that to which I relate hangs in the balance, and you tell me to wait. I'm needing a yes, a go-ahead sign, or even a no to which I can resign. And Lord, you have promised that if we believe, we need but to ask, and we shall receive. And Lord, I've been asking, and this is my cry. I'm weary of asking. I need a reply. Then quietly, softly, I learned of my fate. As my master replied, once again, you must wait. So I slumped in my chair, defeated and taught, and grumbled to God. So I'm waiting. For what? He seemed then to kneel, and his eyes met with mine. And he tenderly said, I could give you a sign. I could shake the heavens and darken the sun. I could raise the dead and cause mountains to run. All you seek I could give, and pleased you would be. You would have what you want, but you wouldn't know me. You would not know the depth of my love for each saint. You would not know the power I give to the faint. You would not learn to see through the clouds of despair. You would not learn to trust just by knowing I'm there. You'd not know the joy of resting in me when darkness and silence were all you could see. You'd never experience that fullness of love as the peace of my spirit descends like a dove. You'd know that I give and I save for a start, but you'd not know the depth of the beat of my heart. The glow of my comfort laid into the night, the faith that I give when you walk without sight, the depth that's beyond getting just what you asked of an infinite God who makes what you have last. You'd never know this should your pain quickly flee. What it means that my grace is sufficient for thee. Yes, your dreams for your loved one could simply come true, but how sad if you lost what I'm doing in you. So be silent, my child, and in time you will see that the greatest of gifts is to truly know me. And though oft may my answers seem terribly late, my most precious answer of all is still 